The main aim of this seminar is to explore the semantic web technologies and its query language. That is semantic web, RDF, OWL and Sparkle. The presentation overview of this seminar includes web evolution, semantic web, semantic web standards and so on. Web evolution. The web, World Wide Web was established with an objective of accessing the data anywhere, anytime. Web 1.0 was all about static content, that is one way publishing the content without any real interaction between the readers and the publishers. For example, home page, page views, advertising the data, web forms. The main problem with this is the users cannot review the information, that is they cannot comment, feedback or review. It is was just an information portal. But Web 2.0 was all about two-way communication. That is, there is a real interaction between the readers and the users. For example, YouTube, Facebook, Wiki. But the problem with these web pages are, they are written in some scripting languages. They doesn't define any kind of semantics. They describe only the syntax. If computers can understand the meaning behind the information, they can learn what we are interested in. This is what all about semantic web, that is web 3.0, semantic web. Mostly the word, the word semantic itself implies the meaning and the information. The main aim of the semantic web is to make the content worldwide accessible and readable for a machine. For example, if we consider a computer, in order to search for a book from a web page by parsing it, it cannot tell whether the web page is for a book site or any other. It cannot tell what type of book it is, who has written it and many other. How this data is related to the previous versions of the data. So semantic web answers all these questions by making the relationship between the data. The main aim of the semantic web is to make the content worldwide web accessible and readable for a machine. Its goal is to change current unstructured data into web of structured data so that the data can be used by the applications and end results will be understandable by the machine. Those semantic web standards uses three standards that is RDF data model, OWL and Sparkle. So first one resource description framework. So resource description framework is used to represent any resources in this world like the sun, the moon, the earth, the computer or anything. Resource description framework is one of the foundational semantic web technology, the other two being OWL and Sparkle. It is a basic building block of a statement. It is an universal readable machine. Basically this RDF is in the form of XML syntax. The different notations of our RDF is turtle, and triple and json in order to generate rdf using java technology we use apache jena framework but for you for using um, using uh, in order to generate rdf using the c++ it has corresponding apis and the libra libraries like redlib for example this uh, resource description framework is used to describe about a uh, simple statements that is subject predicate and object however to define this rdf vocabulary we need a controlled vocabulary language that is ontology ontology is a main knowledge representation technique in which it defines the knowledge for example ontology defines the common words and the concepts used to describe the area of knowledge for example let us look at this example for example blackberry is a fruit it is an ed editable thing whereas Blackberry is a uh, mobile device. There are two types of things like Blackberry is the same fruit as well as the mobile. In order to differentiate this ontology is used to define the concepts behind this. For example, what are the properties, characteristics, attributes, data properties and object properties. So what is an ontology? Ontology is a formal explicit specification of shared conceptualization. Formal refers to the fact that the ontology should be a machine readable. Explicit specification refers to the types of concepts in a domain. 
shared conceptualization refers to the types of concepts in a particular domain. For example, if you want to develop an ontology for Zora Research Institute, we need to analyze the what is a domain. Domain is university. What are the concepts? Like students, professors, courses, departments. These are the particular concepts in a domain. This is the, this is the explicit specification. To develop an ontology, we use several tools like uh, Protegify, Onto, Onto Studio, Pro, Pro, Byte Composer, and many other. So, in order to query this uh, OWL and Sparkle, we use Sparkle language. Sparkle refers to Sparkle protocol and RDF query language. It for uh, databases we query using SQL. Similarly, in order to query this OWL and Sparkle, we go for Sparkle language. This is the architecture. In this uh, video, we need to analyze the theme. For example, the concept domain will be the uh, concepts like professor, student, department, and everything. Ontology will be university. Then we need to define the properties and the values. Next, we need to populate the ontology. For example, I have taken here a SRD lab. We need to analyze the identify the concepts, classes, attributes, nodes, and the values. We need to develop an ontology like this using Protegy 5. Next, we need to query using the Sparkle. Prefix stands for in order not to use the same statement again and again, we go for the statement called prefix. SRD lab is an URL of the particular web page. Question mark indicates the variable variable name x is a row name y is a row name where srd works is a relationship between the subject and the predicate that is object the here the predicate is works if you have any statements related to the words it will display the output in the form of like this the output 